My love of Jacksonville inspired me to begin photography. I had some major transitions in my life, got off of uh, some major addictions in my life, and I didn't want to go back to my old ways and needed a, uh, I had a change of heart, but I also needed a geographical change. For my first few years I was in Jacksonville, I could only ride on a bicycle or take the bus. I had to be at work by seven in the morning and I would catch sunrise along the river walk. I had a seven minute commute from Riverside. Just fell in love with the beauty of Jacksonville along the river, the cityscapes. It just inspired me to start that journey of photography and continue to do it. I was up at the top of the peninsula um, on the South Bank and I was enjoying the fireworks. July 4th. You know, you see this view of 95 that you just never ever see. And I mean, you know, there's some fascinating little curves there. I was able to get a nice long exposure, get the traffic flowing through there, and really just make uh, rivers of light, essentially, to be a pleasing subject. Have something nice in the foreground, in this case, the historic neighborhood, Clutho Park, and downtown. The collaboration with the creative community allowed me to have some very prominent pieces, uh, you know, in the JTA building and other locations. I mean, this is such a beautiful building and such a beautiful display of public art. To know that it's going to be around for a number of years for people to enjoy, it's very humbling to know that I'm just a guy that was on a bicycle taking photos on a cell phone.